Hello Libra, welcome to another morning inspo. If you are new here, I'm Aji, and this is Sacred Libra, where we talk all things Libra. Welcome, 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 guys. Let's go ahead and start with the affirmation. Today, get the feather in the shot. Thank you in advance for posting the affirmation in the comments. I appreciate you. If you post the affirmation in the comments, I will pin your comments. Okay. What's the affirmation for Libra today? Thank you. Thank you. We have two coming out. It's I accept my flaws and I am responsible for my own life. It says, what is a recent mistake I've made and how did I forgive myself? And what does responsibility over my own life mean to me? I accept my flaws and I'm responsible for my own life. Yes. Yes, you all. I feel like this is you not beating yourself up for the decisions that you made. Be mindful not to beat yourself up for the mistakes that you made. All right. All right. What's the tarot energy for Libra today? What is the tarot energy for Libra today? What do we have today? What do we have? We have the strength card. You are stronger than you believe you are. You're about to tap into some inner strength that you didn't know was there. Spirit is just going to remind you how strong you are. So this is a reminder of how strong you are. Um, whatever's happening on your journey, Spirit wants you to know that you can definitely get through it. You can heal through it. Um, you can grow through it. You can glow through it. You're going to be better on the other side coming out of this. Better than how you was when you got in it. Okay. Um... So this is a revealing of some type of inner strength. You revealing your inner strength. Your, your inner strength being revealed. <clears throat> Spirit showing you how strong you are. It's a lot of good things happening here with the strength card. A lot of courage, a lot of confidence, a lot of fiery energy. And it sits confidence, cocky type of energy. Could be. Also, I feel like there's an inner knowing. There's an inner knowing that this strength is there. Alright. You are not lost. Wow. And we have the stranger coming up here. You are not lost. Alright. You have the stranger in your self-placement. The horned cactus. In your spiritual placement, you have the in the crossing in your family placement, the galactic mushroom in your relationships, the spirit of the river in your career placement, the father gate in your spiritual journey placement, and the extended message is dances on one feet, balance, being able to balance all of these things. Protecting the future, the dragon's hoard, the key to the future. So you have the key to the future and you're protecting it. The power of the community. There's a power, a po very, very powerful community around you. A one that supports you. Or there's a very powerful community that you're going to be getting a part of, that you're going to be joining very, very soon. That's going to aid you in your life's purpose. It's going to bring you together with the right people in the right places at the right time. For some type of initiation. For some type of crossing. For all things to come together for you. <clears throat> you do have the stranger. And I feel like with this I accept my flaws and I'm responsible for my own life. There could also be the fear. Um, there could also be you moving past the fear of 
differences and moving more into acceptance. You're, you're accepting yourself, accepting the parts of yourself that you could have shown, shown away. So I do feel like this is you coming more into your like self-love journey or self-mastery journey. Um, and getting to know yourself a little bit more. <clears throat> the horn cactus is also symbolic for this situation because I feel like you get to know yourself a bit more, the stranger, about what it is that you go through by knowing how stronger you are on the other side. Um, this is also given like a re, what's the word? A reinventions of yourself, how you, how you come, how you continue to reinvent yourself, how you continue to grow and blossom and become stronger on how you don't let things, like things aren't killing you. They're only making you stronger. If that makes sense. And you have the horn cactus in your spiritual placement. And this is you blooming. So there's a spiritual bloom happening on the spiritual room with you. Um, through resilience. Through you not giving up. Through you getting through the hard times. All right. There's also a lot of wisdom that's coming with this resilience. This spiritual resilience. All right. This discovery. Also, I feel like you're going to be discovering yourself. So this is self-discovery. All right, so today is going to be really, really big in discovering who it is that you are. So make time for you. Um, I feel like... There's going to be something that you felt like giving up on that you didn't give up on. Or there's something that you could have felt like giving up on. Like everything in your being told you to give up and you didn't. And now you're seeing the fruits of that. So this is your, you're getting rewarded right here. This is a spiritual um, ceremony, a celebration for you because you did not give up. You showed that inner strength. All right, something could have been good or bad, but you decided to follow your heart and continue with it <clears throat> and continue with going. You have the crossing, the initiation, you're blossoming. So there's a transformation happening. This definitely could be happening at home. Um, this is like you, you boarding your ships. Like we said that your ships were coming in and now something is coming in at home or something is coming to you personally. I feel like something has your name on it. All right. This is you coming to a place, um, where it's time where this is your purpose. It's time to say goodbye to your old ways. Um, don't be afraid of something. Spirit is telling you don't be afraid and jump all in. All right, it's time to be, and this is in your family placement. I feel like this is very, very personal to you. This is the rite of passage. You are on the right track. There's something that you could be thinking like, all right, am I doing, am I on the right track? Am I, am I moving in the right place? And Spirit is telling you yes. It's reminding you yes. This is a um, reminder All right, so on 24, this, not 24, <laughs> the galactic mushroom, 24 could definitely be very, very symbolic for somebody, but the galactic mushroom, this is you being connected by some type of community. You're going to realize how, why everything is connected and how everything is connected and how everything is working for you, for your good, all right? So you could, you could have been thinking that you were somewhere alone, but you have so many helpers in the subtle realms and helpers here that you just probably don't know about. Um, there's a need for you to talk to your higher self. Also, your dreams and desires are heard here. Have faith. I feel like somebody is going to be connected with different people in terms of internet. It, it does talks about an internet. This is like how everything's connected, like the internet, like you can connect with so people that are like hundreds and thousands of miles away from you just through one click, one post, whatever it is. 
Um, it's like with one action. Or you're already connected with these people. There's so many things working beneath the surface that you don't know. And these are relationships. These are connections for your greater good. Um, there's so many things that's working for your greater good. This reminds me of my favorite book, The Alchemist. It says when you when you um, try to go for your personal legend, everything in this power is going to help you get there. Um, only if you listen and believe. So everything in this power is going to help you get there. You just have to have this mustard seed of faith. I do feel like when, when you ask your desires, when you speak them, make sure you speak them out. Um, this, you don't have to be speaking them to anybody, but make sure you speak out your desires. I feel like there's so many different um, people and different waves, lifts, and spirit guides and things working in your good, working in your favor for you to get something done here, all right? When it comes to your money placement, you do have the spirit of the river. This is you, like, trusting the wave. So something is carrying you into this new adventure. Um, stop working towards this. Stop working, working towards this and just be open to this next phase of your, of your life. Um, your career is moving like a river. It's just flowing. Something is literally pushing you. You know that flow. You've ever been inside a river or ocean or something, that flow of that, that pulse of the ocean. I feel like that is what, what's happening in career for somebody. They're just being pulled into this, this big, great adventure. And then on your, um, spiritual journey placement, you do have the father gate, the boat step forward. Um, this is the fullest expression of your gifts. This is you stepping fully into and embodying um, your craft fully, okay? This is you evolving. This is also a legacy, showing that you're leaving a legacy behind. This is a very, very bold step that you can step into. Um, also, this is an ending. So you're leaving one thing and you're going to something that's that's much greater, Okay, and then we have the Bodison Act, which is the overall message here. And this is your resourcefulness. This is you saying yes to life. This is you being open and you Bodison the good and the bad. And you just being open to what life has to offer you. <clears throat> that seems like a mouthful. But that's beautiful. It seemed like everything went hand in hand here. All right, this is you falling more in love with yourself. So self-love is working here. All right, you're falling more in love with yourself or you want to do some type of self-love practices today that are good for you. You might want to keep that up. Make some time for that. Um, you have the horned cactus here. All right, tell me more about the stranger for Libra. Shadow work. In the flow, everything is smooth sailing with you. So you're good with you. Everything is smooth sailing. You're in the flow. You're accepting yourself for who you are. You're not rushing things. All right, you got break in the trail, a breakthrough. So you're coming through a breakthrough of self-discovery and self-love and self-mastery and being in full acceptance of who you are, all of who you are, all right? Also, you're reaching your destiny. You don't see it right now, but you're heading on the right direction. You are in alignment. You're, on, you're in the right path. Um, you're doing all the right things. You're moving in the right direction. And you're about to reach your destiny. Okay, so all things are working really, really good right now. <clears throat> Tell me more about Horned Cactus. Horned Cactus, you got Rejuvenating Rain. Clear the past and heal the present. All right, you have the rejuvenating rain. After some type of war or drought, the rain, the, the rain is rejuvenating. So some type of rain is going to be good for your skin or something like that. If it rains or something like that, it's going to be good for your skin, your body, for you to take in some raindrops. I do feel like after some type of drought, because the horned cactus talks about you being resilient, you getting through something that was tough. So after some type of drought, this rain coming in, it's like something quenches your thirst on the spiritual um on the spiritual plane. 
Something is rejuvenating. This rain is washing away old. There's some type of rain that's going to be washing away old energy that no longer serves you. Answer the call and surrender to, to the journey. Clear the pleasant. Clear, you're clearing the past and healing the present. All right. There's a miracle happening, okay? So there's a miracle that's going to be happening at home. This is your personal miracle. Something has your name on it. And this miracle is going to, like, choose you. <laughs> Listen, I'm looking at this as it's, a sen as it's a sentence. Miracles choosing your path. Like... The initiation. So literally, the miracle is choosing you. Like you're not choosing it. The miracle is here. It's going to choose the path for you. Something is going to happen brilliant in your life and it's just going to be a no-brainer for you to go this way. So the miracle, it chooses you. It chooses the path for you. All right, something that's very, very personal. So something is going to choose you. You're going to have to do something. You're going to have to make a choice or go a certain type of way because something is coming into your life and this thing that's coming into your life is a miracle. So there's something that's coming into your life, possibly into your home, okay, possibly into your family. This could be riches. This can be value. This can be wealth. And because something is coming into this could be this could be love, okay? This could be peace, this could be health. Because something is coming into your home, into your house, into your body, into your, your family, there's a there's a path that you have to go. And I feel like the path that you have to go on is for you to for you to nurture this miracle. So I feel like you're gonna be changing course. I had to let that sit, okay? So you can get it. The miracle is choosing your path. <laughs> and look at, at the bottom of the deck. Infinite abundance. Like, I just got so happy. Um, chills, even. Abundance is pouring into your life. And that's going to choose the road for you. So there's something that's pouring, being poured wow and rejuvenating rain so there's something spiritually that's happening that's coming right to your house right to your door and it's pouring into your it's, it's rejuvenating rain it's pouring this is infinite abundance it's pouring into your life there's going to be a whole lot of rain like a whole lot like rapid growth Wow. This is amazing. Tell me more about galactic. Tell me more about galactic mushroom. These cards about to start being my favorite too. Because. Alright. Galactic mushroom. Alright. You guys are going to realize with the relationships that you have, with the people who care about you, with the love that you have out there, with the support that you have, you can overcome everything. Lean on your team, lean on your tribe, lean on your spirit guides, okay? You do have that help out there, all right? You can overcome something with the community that you have. This is a bond, bond. this is the relationships, all right? This is you being in unity with other people. All right, if you were to view from above, get the big picture. So the bigger picture is that you're connected. All right, the bigger picture is that there is a whole community happening beneath the scenes. And there's nothing that you can't overcome. All right. Be mindful of the narrow pathway of you think being narrow-minded. There's a need for you to think big. Think about your impact. Your impact is going to be really, really big. All right. So I do feel like you're going to be seeing how, how many people are impacted by you. You may start hearing you. If that makes sense. You may start hearing you around the world. Okay. Like you have this huge impact. This huge influence. 
and it's going to start coming out. All right, tell me more about the spirit of the river. Okay, spirit of the river, begin now. Wow, let your spirit lead you, push you. There's something that you need to start and you need to start this now. It's whatever you thought about right now when I said that, that you need to start it now, start now. That's what it is. You're like, oh, what I want, you just thought about it, okay? Take your first step. So whatever the first steps look like you, take the, your first steps and let the universe push you into it. Let flow with the universe. Don't really try to put too many um, boundaries or labels on something. Just let it flow. Let it flow. Okay, you're crossing this bridge. It's time for healing, connecting, and um, mending and releasing. I feel like you're crossing a bridge. I feel like you're stepping over into new territory. I also feel like that there could be some type of um, reconciliation that's happening when it comes to career work or something like that. Um, this new thing that you start is going to uncover the treasure that you've been desiring. Let me say that again because I don't want that to go over your head because I want all of you guys to get everything that your Akashic Records has for you here and now in this lifetime. This new thing that you start now is going to unlock the treasure that you have been desiring. It's about are you willing to start again? Are you willing to go from being the kings or the queens in some type of um, area in your life to be the page again? Or you just you 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 you've been the magician? Are you willing to be the fool again? Um, start now. There's something that you have yet to start. You have not taken your first step in something. Um, and Spirit is telling you to start right now, okay? Tell me more about the Father Gate. All right. The Desert Passage. Trust there is a divine path, plan, all right? Divine plan here. All right, the desert passage, okay? So you might have to get through some type of desert. I don't know why this is this is making me think about the alchemist. All right, you have to get through some type of desert or some type of, this could be some type of journey in a sense, all right, to get to this next, this next, um, this next gate here. The bold step forward of you going to this next gate. You can see the sun. You can see what your destination is. But it's, it's you going back out there again, okay? So this is going to be you putting yourself out there again. And you're at a crossroads where this is the perfect time. Everything is lined up in alignment for you to go ahead and put yourself out there and discover the truth. You stand in the light of your own truth, all right? And blessings are showering your life. So you're going, you're walking towards your blessings. You got joy and delight at the top of the deck. Open your heart. Open your hearts. Tell me more about dances on one foot. Joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. I just kept saying, open your heart to joy. There's a great adventure. Say yes to life. Saying yes to life. Take a risk. Say yes to this risk. All right? You got first light. You're beginning a new cycle. Um, and you have the gates of triumph. Success expands in your life. So a lot of things are happening for you. This is really, really big. Um, this is really, really big. Like everything's in the flow. I feel like you are in the flow. You are obedient. So you're beginning now. There's something you could have woke up with the idea like on, on Tuesday I'm starting, blah, 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 blah. Let's go ahead and leave you guys with some angel messages. Remember, the miracle is choosing your path, not you. So be open to the miracle coming into your life. And know that you can, come, you can overcome any obstacle because you have helpers all over the world and all over the spiritual realm. 
this rain that's coming through is abundance. It's clearing the past and healing the present. And it is abundance coming into your life. It's miracles. All right, you got the sacral chakra. You are highly sensitive to chemicals, additives, processed foods, and energies right now. Respect your sensitivities by avoiding harsh, harsh item situations and relationships. Sacral chakra is activated. Manifestation powers are heightened right now because the sacral chakra is activated. Singing and dancing, express yourself and awaken your psychic senses through the magical power of music and movement. Make sure you get your dance on. Get your little buggy on real quick. Get your little singing on. All right, you got workshops and seminars. Attending and giving speeches is part of your spiritual path and purpose. Be open to teaching and learning, okay? And last but not least, we have indigo. It says the person you are inquiring about is an indigo, meaning highly sensitive, meaning a highly sensitive natural born leader. You have the crown chakra. Pay attention to your ideas as they are messages of true divine guidance. Sit in answers to your prayers, all right? And you are a powerful light worker. It is safe for you to be powerful. Your spiritual power brings great blessings and loving service to the divine. All right, so that is the message. I hope this reading resonates. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.